Congratulations, you have your own morning show. Whoa. Mormon in the morning. Moron. Hmm? It says moron, there's no extra in. In the world's most awesome radio station, there was an awesome DJ named Lance. Even though his sidekick, Anna, was not very cool and always on her period, his morning show was super cool. The end. <laughs> yeah! Lance? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Joey here. We're going to talk about VH1's free radio, correct? Okie dokie. Hey, tell us about the show. It's on VH1, man. Bye. Ah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's set in a radio station, uh-huh. um, and I play this sort of moronic uh, DJ um, that uh, used to be an intern there, and the show is sort of such a train wreck that uh, it becomes even more popular than ever. And we have, like, celebrity guests in every episode. It's sort of a mix between, like, the old Howard Stern show on E! and The Office. Okay, so this is a, this is a character that you created. Yeah. Did you have any influence, like, real life creating him? Who, who do you know? Who is he based on? Uh, he's based a, a little bit on my own ignorance as far as, like, <laughs> what it's like to work at a radio station. Because when we came up with this idea... I was like, oh yeah, that's a great setting for a radio, you know, a radio station. That's a great setting to like have these celebrities come in. But I was like, I don't know anything about radio stations, and I absolutely loathe doing, you know, research. Uh-huh. Um, so I was like, how about I just stay ignorant, and that's my character. I just don't know anything about anybody. And so that was sort of like this running joke. And then we're like, you know, that's actually really funny. So we started sort of improving this character out, and that's, you know, he sort of became, you know, DJ Lance from Moron in the Morning. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because uh, the people who have actually seen the show, uh, radio guys, they're like, wow, you really captured the essence of a radio station. And it's funny because we didn't do any radio research or anything. So uh, we sort of like lucked into uh, the authenticity of, of our setting. So is radio something that ever interested you, like, seriously? No, no. I don't have a radio voice, as you can hear. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I love radio. I love listening to radio. I love, you know, I'm, I'm one of those weird people that, like, you know, even, even when I was a kid, I'd rather listen to, like, talk radio than music. For sure. whatever reason, I just like the sound of people talking on my radio. Uh-huh. And um, so, no, it's always been something that I listen to. So, you know, when I, when I did this, I had some frame of reference, but uh, actually having a job in radio, no. I don't think I'd be very good. I, I, you have to get up way too early. Yeah, it is quite a bit early. So I had a hard time understanding if the show was fully scripted or if, you know, pieces of it were just completely impromptu. It's t- totally improvised. It's really? The show from top to bottom. Uh, we, uh, like I said, I don't like doing research and I don't like writing. So uh, we, uh, you know, we come up with a concept, we come up with a sort of a general outline, and then uh, we just, as they say in the business, we do make them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on season two. Who are some guests that we can expect to swing by the show? Well, in uh, this week's episode, we have David Cook and Hank Azaria and uh, Emily Proctor uh-huh. uh, from CSI Miami. Yeah. Uh, we have later on, we have um, uh, Kathy Griffin is coming on, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Cheech and Chong. Um, you know, we had Ed Helms on last, last week, Dominic Monaghan. Uh, we have some really great guests that, uh, you know, you would usually wouldn't expect. Maybe, maybe Kathy Griffin you'd expect to see on VH1, but for the most part, uh, a lot of people are, you know, people that you would never expect to see on, uh, on VH1. And, uh, and we have a fun time ribbing them. Akon. Uh-huh. Great. Kathy Griffin is one that I think I'm looking forward to because she looks like uh, someone that wouldn't really put up with it. Who, who's who been one of your she favorite... Put up with it. <laughs> who's been uh, your favorite female thus far to interview I, as part honestly, of the show? Yeah, Kathy Griffin is definitely up there. I mean, yeah. she, she was uh, she was great. I mean, Emily Deschanel last, last season on Bones, uh, from Bones, she was on last season. She was great, really fun. Um, but I think Kathy Griffin was just so willing and excited to just basically tell me to F off uh-huh. that, you know, <laughs> you kind of want that give and take. And it's, it's nice sometimes when the, uh, the guest gets the upper hand, and she definitely got the upper hand, which was really fun to watch. Which guest that came on the show did you feel genuine uncomfort uh, from or awkwardness? Corey Feldman, definitely. Yeah? There was, uh, there was some definite genuine uncomfortability <laughs> in an interview. Um, you know, we, we usually don't have someone like a Corey Feldman on. We usually have, you know, people that haven't been made fun of that much already. So we, like, have new fertile ground 
So I was like, well, what do we do with Corey Feldman that you haven't done before? And I was like, well, you never see anyone talk about Michael Jackson around him. You just, it just doesn't come up. It's so taboo. Yeah. And so we went there, and boy, you, I, I found out quickly why it was taboo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the show's hilarious. I'm, I'm curious as to how you get away with some of the funny vulgarity. I, yeah, you mean like through standards and practices or by... Just kind of, just kind of like uh, the last show from uh, last season, you have this woman singing to you and it's like, yeah, half a boner. And it's totally okay, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, you know how I get, I think it's just one of these things where like my character is so sort of innocently stupid that he can get away with a lot of that stuff as opposed to like if I was playing someone who's cool and had it together you say that it's gross but what my character says it's like a seven year old saying that to you you know like oh you gave me a boner yeah you know, yeah like, this doesn't really really land anywhere other than like oh you idiot so it's got to be a cool family cool staff you work with right it's, it's really cool it's just really it's, it's a great group of people and uh, it's a really really fun show to, to work on all right lastly i have a question about your parents did they ever have a i don't know a different Opinion of the career choice that you made. I read somewhere that they both had real serious jobs. Well, they did. They had serious jobs, but they are not serious people. They're they're both uh, goofy as hell. And uh, but yeah, my dad was a Navy pilot. My mom was a spy for the CIA and the FBI. And uh, you know, both seem like very serious jobs. On yeah. Things. You're expecting like meet the parents or whatever, but but in real life, uh, you know, in order to pull those jobs off and do them well, you have to sort of like also be able to have a good sense of humor about things and then they definitely both have a good sense of humor but i think you know uh, ultimately they were just happy that their 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 baby boy is doing well and, and working and yeah he's not having to wait tables <laughs> all right very cool len scroll do you have a website or a myspace where we can find you uh yeah you can uh, you can actually find me on facebook just facebook uh Lance scroll or myspace or you can twitter me as well um, I'll just, you know, just type in Lance Crawl and you'll find it. Very cool. So VH1's free radio. When can we catch your show? Uh, Thursday nights at 11 o'clock. Very cool. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care.